So over the last week, there has been a lot of news regarding the Arizona Coyotes and their possible new stadium, and it hasn't been great news for hockey fans in the desert. It all started on February 2nd when the Arizona Coyotes announced that they were going to put in a bid to buy some land outside of Phoenix that would serve as the birthplace of their new arena. Now, this was land that was part of a state trust, so they'd have to buy it from the Arizona government. However, the Coyote CEO also noted that they were looking at other sites and weren't locked into this one. So it was an update without really giving any news. The Arizona Coyotes still don't have a site on which they would be able to build a stadium. So it was coming around the All-Star break, and so there was looking like there was a little momentum from the Coyotes to be able to start work on getting their new stadium approved. But then the bombshell came down from Marty Walsh of the NHLPA. The NHLPA's executive director said that he is extremely concerned and disappointed with the Coyotes' ownership over the arena situation. He noted that the Morello Group, who owns the Coyotes, has not engaged with the union on quote-unquote numerous fronts. And in addition, Walsh revealed that the Coyotes missed two deadlines already to move the arena project forward. And Walsh asked how long do you have to wait to get a new home? They're playing in a college arena and they're the second tenant in that arena. This is not the way to run a business. And this also came out just a few days after an anonymous NHL player survey listed the Arizona Coyotes dressing rooms as one of the worst in the NHL with players saying things like, it should never be a part of the NHL, it's not the show, it can't be taken seriously, dog shit. So pressure was building around the Coyotes and their arena deal, and things were not looking good according to Marty Walsh, and this sentiment was echoed by Elliot Friedman on the Jeff Merrick podcast. He said that, quote, it doesn't sound promising. If indeed there's going to be an announcement this weekend or sometime in the very near future, it doesn't seem good for the current ownership group. I believe that there isn't something hard and fast in the very near future that will begin the process of selling the team or the NHL taking over the team and selling it to someone else, I believe we'll get there. And then just yesterday, on February 7th, Andy Strickland said that he would expect an announcement regarding the Coyotes' future to be made this weekend around the Super Bowl, and that the league has been pressuring the team for answers on a daily basis for some time, and echoed Friedman's statement that the NHL buying the Coyotes and taking over again is a distinct possibility. And all of this came just two weeks after the Smith Entertainment Group, a parent company of the NBA's Utah Jazz, formally requested the NHL initiate an expansion process for purposes of bringing the team to Utah. And that has led to wild speculation that the NHL could end up buying the Coyotes and selling them to the Smith Group, moving the team to Salt Lake City. Of course, in the past, the Coyotes have also been linked to Houston and Quebec City, but Utah right now would seem like a clear and obvious solution for the Coyotes if the NHL were to make the Morello Group sell them. And I know that I and a lot of other NHL fans will make fun of the Coyotes and their fans, but honestly, it really sucks to see an NHL team go down like this, especially for those fans. I actually had the privilege of getting to go to a Coyotes game pre-COVID at their old arena, and it was a really good time. It was a pretty nice arena, and the atmosphere was pretty good. Obviously, it wasn't the most densely populated game I've ever been to, but it was a fun time, and I've always had a little bit of a soft spot for the Yotes. They had some of the sickest old school jerseys I've ever seen. Those reverse retros they put out a few years ago were absolute fire. And the Phoenix Coyotes fans who are there don't deserve to be treated like this, but unfortunately, this is just another example of what happens when you have bad ownership. Bad ownership is just the ultimate rod of an organization, and unfortunately for the Coyotes, they've tried to exercise that rot for years. And it just never goes away. So while we're saying hello to Salt Lake, Houston, or Quebec, wherever it may be, let's not forget to pour one out for the fans in Phoenix who are going through one of the most heartbreaking things a fan can ever endure.